Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to set up our new 642B centrifuge. Setting up the 642B. Let's start by making sure we have all our necessary accessories. These came out of the accessory bag packed in with your centrifuge. You'll need your tube holders and your centrifuge with its attached power cord. If you're missing anything, please contact Drucker Diagnostics. Start by placing the centrifuge on a flat, level, sturdy surface. Leave at least 6 inches, or 15 centimeters, on all sides and at least 21 inches, 54 centimeters height above the lid so you can easily open it. Locate the power cord on the back of your 642B and plug it into the wall. Make sure your outlet is easily accessible so you can unplug your centrifuge for cleaning and maintenance. Now we can twist our lid latch and lift the lid open. You can see our rotor here inside. Your 642B comes with its rotor installed and ready to run. All we need to do is place our tube holders. You will need to place all six tube holders, even if you are not spinning six tubes. You can see the slots all around the rotor. Place a tube holder in each. Properly seated tube holders can be moved slightly in their slots. And this is by design, and that's what allows them to rise into their horizontal spin position. They do not click or snap into place. Your 642B has only authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts, including the rotor and tube holders. You should only use authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts in your centrifuge, as anything else may damage your centrifuge or even be dangerous. That's it for our setup. We're ready to spin. If you have any more questions, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.